Oh, we're, we're extremely excited. Got a lot of people to thank. We got a great staff, great support staff um, that really worked hard um, all the way from the, the edits. We send the players to coordinating the visits, um, to showing them around campus, and um, a lot of hours spent on the road. Is, and, and, and all college coaches do that, but um, our guys were very diligent. We got an early start on it this year um, after having been here for a, for a full season, and we're really pleased with our class. Um, you know, like I always say, they all come highly recommended. Um, you can't sign them all, but the ones that we got, we are extremely excited. They fill a lot of needs that we had going into this class. And, um, and then there at the very end, we got a couple, um, couple big surprises that kind of capped the class off. So um, it's a good day for Sanford football. Um, you have to really focus on the recruiting. It's all about the players, um, as we well know. And now we got to do a good job of coaching our current players and getting these new guys to come in um, and, and, and get integrated with the way we do things this summer because a lot of them we're going to need to fill some voids to help us be very successful on the field next season. What were some of those surprises? Um, well, the, the big surprise there was TD Marshall, um, you know, at the very end. Um, you know, he had a lot of things going on early, um, and, and we, we've been recruiting the whole, whole time. And, um, and then this weekend, um, some things fell off, and he came and visited us, had a great visit, looked at peace here. And um, it was um, went all the way to last night, but we're excited that we got him. Are you looking at him at, at quarterback? Is that the well? He'll be an athlete type guy for us. Um, you know, right now we're looking at playing him at some some different spots. Um, receiver probably being his primary position, um, and and but he's good enough. He can he can do a lot of different things for us. He knows that. Um, he's a dynamic player um, to go along with all the other guys that we signed as well. I know last year a lot of the talk was just you getting acclimated and kind of throwing, throwing into it a little bit around this time of year. It was a little better to have a full cycle there and well, really be able to set it up the way you wanted. Well, there's no question about it. Um, you know, what the, the staff was, a lot of the guys were still intact and they had been recruiting and, and I didn't know. So I went off of um, their recommendations. I mean, they knew the current team that we had. They knew the needs that we, we had and they did an awesome job. This year, um, of course, I was more involved because you know I'd, I'd been here for a season. Um, we knew specifically what we had to go get, and I um, mean we went out and got it. Um, so again, um, it all looks really good today. Um, but if it doesn't look good today, it's very difficult for it to look good in the fall. But I think we got some guys that could come in and um, and be immediate impact players for us. When you say voids, what, what area were you looking at there? Uh, well, we, we need help at all positions, especially from a depth per, um, perception of it. Um, the big thing with us was our secondary. We lost a lot of good players over there, and, um, and, and we addressed a lot of those needs, especially at safety. Um, so that, would, that was really good to see. And then, um, you know, we, we got a little depth on the offensive line, which was something that, that we had to have, um, signed some really big players there. And, um, and then, you know, of course, we needed some receivers. We needed D linemen. We needed a linebacker. Um, but really, the secondary, that was a big, big need position for us. You weren't here when uh, Finnegan was here. But just to have a guy with the name Sanford tied to it that's playing in the big game this weekend, did that help a little in recruiting? Does it help with this program or what? Well, there's no question. Um, you know, the biggest football game um, of the year is the Super Bowl. And having a former player in it um, does nothing but help you. It doesn't hurt you at all. Mm -hmm. um, he's a great ambassador of Sanford. Um, I, I believe I first met him early in the year. He was at a game. He was retired. And now we look up, he's playing in the Super Bowl. So he's done well for himself <laughs> this year. Um, and we're very excited for him. But, you know, I think when you look at Sanford, what all it has to offer, you're in a great city. You play a high level of football. You have a tremendous academic reputation. And then you look around and you see a guy like that playing in the Super Bowl. Um, you know, you see Jaquaski Tart last year being drafted in the second round. This year, James Bradbury um, getting all the publicity for being in the Senior Bowl. Um, you know, you can come here, play a high-level ball, have a great opportunity to play in the NFL. Um, and more importantly than all that, you get a Sanford degree. And when you put all those things together, we got a very special situation here. I, I want to go back to Marshall just real quickly. I mean, landing a player of his caliber, knowing who was looking at him before, do you feel like that maybe potentially sends a message not only throughout the state but throughout the league as well with the caliber of player you guys can land? Well, we hope so. And, um, you know, I, I, and he is a great player. And, and we have a lot of other great ones that were, were, are in this class that, that are very integral to what we're trying to do. Um, I think the big thing with us, if you look at, um, at, look at the roster, 
Uh, we had seven guys from the, the metro Birmingham area. Now, that didn't talk about Huntsville or Montgomery, just right around right around here, that sign with us this year. Um, and, you know, our big thing is cool to, it's cool to go to Sanford. I mean, this is a, a beautiful place, and, um, you know, we want to get that out. I mean, you take TD and, and then Mike Williams over there, who was a highly recruited guy as well. I mean, Mike may have been recruited just as highly as TD. Two local guys to choose to come to Sanford sends a strong message about the type of place we have.